Blackmore. What's up, YouTube fam? Blackmore here with another banger for you today. A back-to-back -back Mortal Kombat episode covering another fan-favorite character from the 3D era that's bled into the modern MK titles. The one and only Frost, the Lin Kuei prodigy. Today, we'll be breaking down her unique fighting style, Tong Bei, that has stayed pretty prevalent throughout her time in MK. Staying as her primary fighting style in the 3D era, even in MK11, still using some elements of this art. Without further ado, let's get this underway, shall we? Tong Bei, also known as Tong Hlu, is a unique Chinese style that translates to spreading power through the back. To best describe its fundamental principles, Tong Bei is renowned for its fluid and graceful movements, which emphasize relaxed power and the integration of the whole body. Tong Bei places great emphasis on open hand techniques such as palm strikes, knife hands, and claw-like movements, enabling practitioners to execute devastating attacks while maintaining agility and control. Another crucial aspect of Tong Bei is its focus on coordination, footwork, and awareness. Practitioners learn to move fluidly, utilizing circular steps and quick direction changes to evade attacks and maintain a dominant position in combat. This combination of agility and strategic footwork makes Tong Bei extremely effective in close quarters combat situation. Now let's address the big question. How effective is Tong Bei in an actual fight? Well, like any martial art that I pretty much have mentioned in the past, its effectiveness ultimately boils down to the skill and training of the practitioner. However, Tong Bei has proven itself in combat sports, such as Sanda and Chinese kickboxing, where its diverse range of strikes and agile footwork can be utilized effectively. Furthermore, Tong Bei's emphasis on relaxation and cultivated internal power provides practitioners with a unique advantage. It enables them to remain calm under pressure, conserving energy, and allowing for swift, powerful strikes when the opportunity arises. This combination of power, fluidity, and strategic footwork sets Tong Bei apart as a highly effective martial art. Although precise details were pretty hard to trace during the making of this video. This is one art I feel some of the history is still quite unknown to us, or you have a situation where some of it is lost from time. So I do apologize to you all for the short nature of the history this time around, but I will do my best with the information I was able to gather. It is believed to have its roots in the Wudang Mountains of China, where many other renowned martial arts styles were also developed. Tong Bei was initially practiced within select family circles, but over time, its effectiveness and distinct techniques gained recognition and spread throughout China. Like many martial arts, Tong Bei comes with its unique stories. The art was developed by a female martial artist named Zong Yulong during the Song Dynasty. She observed a white ape fighting style and meticulously combined its fluid movements with her own refined techniques, creating the foundation of what we have today. It's worth noting that Tong Bei has several branches with different lineages and instructors, preserving and developing the art over time. This has led to the evolution of various substyles, each with its unique characteristics and training methods. One prominent branch of Tong Bei is Zhang Tong Bei, which originated in the coastal province of Zhangjiang. Zhang Tong Bei is known for its flowing movements, efficient strikes, and emphasis on whole body power generation. Another branch, Shangji Tong Bei, hails from the Shangji province and is recognized for its circular footwork, 
agile evasion techniques, and precise strikes. This particular branch places great importance on eternal power cultivation, allowing practitioners to generate formidable force while maintaining a relaxed state. It's important to note that Tong Bei has had its fair share of challenges and periods of decline throughout history. However, it has preserved through the dedication of passionate practitioners and masters who have worked tirelessly to preserve and promote the art, in which it is still around to this day. So there you have it, an overview of the marvelous martial art of Tong Bei that Ed Boon and the Mortal Kombat crew brought to life, and even still try to retain some elements now. I hope you enjoyed hearing about its techniques, effectiveness in the fight, and seeing a glimpse into its fascinating history. I truly appreciate learning the process of each of these fighting game studios go to in order to bring these martial arts to life. Don't worry folks, I have not forgotten about the other MK characters I'm covering. To those that have been waiting, Reptile will be next following Quan Chi and Baraka. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay updated. And leave a comment giving me your thoughts of any other characters you would love for me to cover besides the ones I've just mentioned. Until next time, this is Blackmore here, signing out. Catch y'all next time. Peace!